We have just the place to get you in the holiday shopping mood, coming up on this edition of Irvine Scene. are around the corner and that means it's time for the annual Irvine Holiday Art Fair and it's here at the Great Park where we're highlighting artists and their handmade creations. We're proud to present the 42nd annual Holiday Fair. Uh, we've been doing it at the Great Park for several years now. We have over 100 artists. The best thing is that you get to see the things in person, talk to the artists who made the work, and these are made from the heart. They work hours at home and create beautiful things that you won't see in a store. I actually bought a couple of uh, cat kickers from uh, the Animal Care Center. What's a cat kicker? It's a catnip filled uh, toy. toy, basically. It looks like that. But we've bought a lot of things here in the past. We've had some stone art, some pottery, blown all glass. sorts of blown glass. The, the artisans here are very good. I used that to pick it up. Then I open up And it's also really nice when you talk to them and you find out how proud they are of the piece. You know they put a lot of their heart into it. And if you keep coming year after year, you get to know the artists too. So you get to come back and buy something new to add to your collection, and you get to know them and their story and their families and everything else. So it's kind of like coming back to family. I do indoor and outdoor holiday decor that is for the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and general fall. I do it all myself. I cut the wood myself. I paint the wood myself. Uh, my husband helps me with the heavy lifting. While we were there, we met one of Darlene Funk's return customers. This particular vendor right here, we, we've seen her from this show and also before when it used to be at the Art Center in Irvine. And we always bought things from her, so I own almost everything that's in this booth already. <laughs> There's a lot to see and I like looking at the jets and the planes they have on, on display. Good food trucks. <laughs> so they take care of everybody here and there's a lot of neat vendors and we always end up buying stuff for the holiday. And getting to know the artisans more, we asked about their work. Anything that has to do with fabric, I'm into. So I started with um, art dolls, you know, figures, posed figures, and then I realized, you know, I really am happier when I'm making animals. I know it's gonna be a dog, but I get halfway done and I go, all right, is this a male or a female? And is he a steampunk or is he a happy kind of guy? Whatever, so it all develops. I paint houses, I make houses from ceramics. It's, I enjoy architecture a lot. I am a trained painter, but started ceramics about nine years ago. Started coming to Irvine Fine Arts Center. Was introduced to ceramics by a friend and um, got addicted. The facility is nice, beautiful glazes, and I get to work alongside some interesting people. Another ceramic artist who also makes her pieces at the Irvine Fine Arts Center and is sharing booth space is Agnes Noble. I used to take a lot of ceramic glasses there. I think I have been taking like four. Uh, four, year, four years I was taking ceramic classes there and they are very, very supportive of us. And even now, I usually confer some of the teachers. Do I do right? What can I do with this to make it better? and they actually provide us with a lot of information. Agnes has functional works for sale at the show with a lot of detail she has added to make it her own, something shoppers appreciate. Shop local, support your community, do what you can. Just keep it local, we don't need to do anything more. They need the sales and we need to help everybody that's close by. For more on upcoming events taking place in the city, visit our website. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twegg.